hello everyone so today we are going to see this question that is how to get distinct characters and their count in the string so here you can see this is a string and occurrence of a is 2 that means a is occurring two times in the given string so how to get this distinct characters and their count in the string let us see about this so let me copy this string so string s equals to this let me take small name of variable yes so here we will be using hash map for solving this so hash map of uh, character comma integer hm equals to new hash map so here semicolon so here we will write for loop for int i equal to 0 to i is less than s dot length then i plus plus then what we will do here we will check so if hm first of all we will take here a character ch equals to s s dot character at position i then we will check if hm dot contains the key that is the character if, if the character is already present in the hash map then we will do hash map dot put of ch and hm dot get of ch plus one so at the end of the program i will explain how this is working so otherwise what we will do hm dot put ch comma one that will put and here what happened? yes now at the end we will print system dot out dot print lm hash map so we are storing this hash map then character if it is containing then we will do this after that so let me compile this compile successfully let's run here we go here we can see a is a is count is two right here we go a is counted to a this capital A's count is 1, B2, B1, C2, C1, D2, D1. Now, let us see what is happening. So, here, let me take stop. Now, here, we have a hash map. So, hash map will store character and integer as we have taken here a key value as character and integer so what is our string string is a b c d a b c d a b c d right now we are going character by character so a it will see a is present in hash map no so it will take here a comma one right so else block will be executed and character and one will be store into hash map now it will go to the b b is not present so b comma 1 will be stored c is also not present c comma 1 will be stored d is also not present d comma 1 will be stored then after that i am writing here below so after this all done here comes a so a is also not present so a and it's 1 because hash map not contains this a key so else block will be executed right similarly b will be 1 then c will be 1 then d will be 1 so all this character up to this is completed now here we go now whenever here comes a then what will happen a is already present in the hash map so in that case what we will do we will put this ch that is character and we will get the value so what is the value 1 and we will add that value to this one so 1 plus 1 will be 2 now this will be become a comma 2 now here comes b so similarly we will add b and we will get the value and we will add 1 to this so b 2 will be stored similarly c2 will be stored and d2 
so this is a way we can get the distinct character and their frequency now instead of this uh, if and else block what we can do we can use the hash map that is hm dot put ch hm dot get or default ch comma zero plus one so this is also a method we can use if we want to if you want to avoid if and else block so get or default if uh, the hash map contains the character then it will get the value so let's suppose uh, here hash map in the hash map we have a comma one then again a is there then what we will see it will check if one is already there then it will add one in that so it will be a comma two so hm dot get or default if it is already present it will add one in that otherwise if a is not present in the hash map then it will that hm dot get or get or default will return zero and in that zero it will add one plus one and a will come so in this example let's suppose so first let me erase this first is a so character is a so hm dot put a so a is not present first of all at the very first time a is not present so hm dot get or default so default value will be zero in that zero one will be added so a comma one will be stored into the hash map then after going going to, after going to this a so whenever it will come to this a in this string so hm dot put a comma get now its value is one so a comma one plus one so it will become two so now a will be stored with the two right so a two so if you if you don't want to use if and else block then you can use this hm dot get or default that is hash map dot get or default now let us run this code control one let's run this code and here we go we got the same output so this is the way we can get distinct character and their count in a string